Hey, hello, YouTubers out there. God bless you. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. We got a new uh, prophecy here today. For the glory be to God on uh, Antichrist Obama, the first homosexual president. Shame, shame, shame on you, Antichrist Obama. You're the first homosexual president. You need to read Genesis chapter 19 in the Holy Bible because the God of Israel destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for being a homosexual city and we could be destroyed by God of Israel. Antichrist Obama, you need to repent your stance on the homosexual, the two same men and two same women that can get married in the United States of America. It's abomination to God. That is the word of God today. Shame, shame, shame on you, President Obama. And uh, this nation is being destroyed by Antichrist Obama in our sovereignty, uh, in our spirituality here. And President Obama, we know you're not a Christian. We know you're a Muslim. I, uh, you're not for nobody. You're a Muslim in the closet just like you was the first president homosexual in the closet. And now you come out, we know uh, you, what you say is not what you do. You give us lip service, but you talk peace on your lips, but there's war in your heart. So I got a new revelation here today. Besides what I'm warning the people here, what's going to happen in Daniel chapter 11, verses uh, 31 to... Uh, 45. I've been warning the people about President Obama's Antichrist the last five years and the Antichrist has no desire for women and when he made that last week come out for the homosexual, the two men can marry the United States of America okay with him and two women but it's an abomination of God uh, President Obama in the old days back they used to stone the homosexuals to death. Today you know they get off easy, and, and I, I love the homosexuals, but I hate their sin uh, because I, I've seen some God save the homosexuals. It's not, you're not born with it, it's a choice. You make your choice, and some of you homosexuals out there, United States of America, the world today, this is your opportunity to turn your life over the Lord before it's too late. I don't want my worst enemy in hell, and I sure don't want homosexuals in hell. I want to see Jesus save their soul, but it's your choice. Nobody but your choice. And I do it with love, not condemnation guilt. But going back here on Antichrist Obama, and starting with verse 31 in Daniel chapter 11. And arm shall stand on his part, and ye shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shake, shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that makes desolation. Antichrist Obama in three and a half years of his reign is getting ready here in a, when the fourth Jewish uh, temple in Jerusalem is will finish he will stand up and he said I am God and, and we're going to see this thing happen and abomination and desolation is an Antichrist buzzword and this is Obama's nation and desolation it sounds the same uh, and it's two different spellings but we know it means the same too and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Uh, Sovereign tongue Antichrist Obama. You know, he likes to tickle the people's ears. There are people, uh, he's anything you want to be. He's a blank screen, like in his book, where he told anybody what they want to be, that's what he wants to be. He's a man pleaser, not a God pleaser. And they that understand among the people, shall instruct many, yet they shall fall by the sword, and by flame, by captivity, and by spoil many days. Now when they shall fall, there shall be a whole pen with a little help, but many shall cleave to them with flatteries. And some of them of understanding shall fall to try them, and to purge, and to make them white, even to the time of the end, because it is yet for a appointed time. And the king... This is uh, Antichrist Obama we're talking about here in Daniel chapter 11 verse 36. Shall do according to his will and he shall exalt himself 
and magnify himself above every god and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished for that for that that is determined shall be done obama will uh speak against the god of israel you know he will uh, blaspheme him he's an abomination to the god of israel and jesus savior and Messiah of the world Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, that's the God of Israel, nor the desires of women. There it is, Antichrist Obama, the first homosexual president, and Antichrist too, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces. That's the old cult, that's the new age, that's the devil, that's, you know, the dynamic powers. And a God whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver. That is his idol. That is his golden calf right there. And with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with the strange God whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. And she shall cause them to rule over many and shall divide the land for gain. He got the United States of America a 21st century civil war, Mr. Obama's got the Christians against the, the heathens and the pagans and New Agers and, and the Muslims. He's got the poor against the rich. He's got the homosexual against the heterosexual. Mr. Obama is the largest land worse than the civil war there back when it was slavery issue. Mr. Obama is divided this uh, civil war. But Mr. Obama, I'm talking to you and like Moses told you are the Pharaoh here in the United States of America, let my people go free. Let my people go free in Jesus' holy name. And at the time of the end shall the king of the south. That's going to be Iran, United States of America, about ready to come in war with Iran real soon. Push at him. And the king of the north, that is Russia. That is the bear. Putin didn't come to G8 meeting. Putin didn't come to a meeting. Putin straight preempted strikes if we put the shells in Poland we're getting ready for World War 3 Ezekiel 38 39 against them like a whirlwind with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships and he shall enter into the countries and shall overthrow and pass over he shall enter also in a glorious land and many countries shall be overthrown but these shall escape out of his hand even Edom that will be uh, kind of southern Israel there and, and Moab that's going to be Jordan and the chief of the children am, am on that is Jordan again the country of Jordan Israel will be spared here he shall stretch forth his hand also among the countries and the land of Egypt shall not escape we seen last year in uh, Isaiah there Bible prophecy and, and President Obama and Hillary Clinton, Secretary of State, destroyed one of our allies, one of our friends, and this new Muslim hood, brotherhood, this new Arab Spring, a revolution. There, we've seen it happen there. This Bible prophecy was fulfilled last year. But he shall have power over the traders of gold and silver. And Mr. Obama, he's a money changer. He's getting close to $1 billion. It's not natural money changing. He's doing supernatural from he sold his soul to the devil here because he is antichrist of all the precious things of the Egypt and the Libyans. We seen Mr. Obama unconstitutionalized. He went to Brazil. He didn't talk to Congress. He listened to the Arab League. He's a Muslim. He listened uh, to the United Nations using NATO without going to Congress and this was the Libyan war. That, that was pro, uh, the prophecy here was fulfilled here just in the last year here. This has happened in, in the January to February, the part of 2000, uh, back there in 11 when it happened. You know, all that last year. There's the two Bible prophecies that Antichrist Obama's already fulfilled in Egypt, the falling and the Muslim hood, brotherhood taking over. And, and then in Gaddafi got killed with NATO there. And, and we've seen this other Bible prophecy being fulfilled. But let's what's happened next. And Ethiopia shall be at his steps. So keep your eyes on Ethiopia there in Africa. That'll be the next war uh, Antichrist Obama gets into. 
But tidings of the east, this is China, and out of the north, Russia. Right now, I believe Antichrist Obama would be attacking Syria, but China and Russia is against it, and Iran's tied in a strong arm, and right now that's why NATO hasn't talked, uh, attacked Syria yet, but they're having a meeting in G8 there, in Camp David, and now with the Chicago NATO, and uh, Putin wouldn't come over here, and we see uh, the World War III, Ezekiel 38-39, uh, shaking out in Chicago. Therefore he shall go with great fury to destroy and utterly make, take, make away many. And he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between his seas and the glorious mountain. Yet he shall come to his end and none shall help him. That is the word of God today. God heard it. Holy word, you heard it here in least the Brethren Ministries in Pinckneyville, Illinois, here for the glory be to God. We're seeing a sign today. Today is May the 20th, 2012. We're going to see the solar eclipse today. <clears throat> Half America out west. And here's another sign of Antichrist Obama's NATO meeting in Chicago, Illinois, on May the 20th, 2012, he's having a meeting with all the uh, 28 NATO uh, presidents or prime ministers and there's some other countries, I think, gathering in Chicago, 60 countries. He's going in Soldier Stadium tonight and they're going to do the ritual. They're going to have a New World Order, old cult, New Age. They're going to worship that moon up there tonight, the sun there and the stars. And it won't let the press in. This is going to be closed. We see the signs of the times happening. And turn your life over to Jesus before it's too late. Oh, God, tell the people out this is urgent. This is a spiritual 911 call. Turn your life over to the Lord. We're seeing Bible prophecy being fulfilled every day on front page of newspapers. Oh, on the radio, on the internet. Oh, God, have mercy on her soul. And... Pray for at least the brother ministry in Pinkneyville. No, we're praying and fasting for you. This is your opportunity. This is your time. I want to scare the hell out of you in Jesus' name. When I was a young man, 22 years old, I got the hell scared out of me in the Nazarene Church of West Frankfort, Illinois, because I was a sinner. If I died, I went to hell. I don't want my worst enemy in hell. I say this prayer right now for the glory be to God. Turn your life over, Lord. Some of them running all your life. There's not much time left. Jesus told me he's doing a quick and a fast work in spring and summer 2012. Turn your life over to the Lord. Yesterday's gone. Today's the day of salvation. Tomorrow might not come. Chicago is going to be blood in the streets. I pray for the policemen. I pray for the protesters. There's good uh, police. There's bad police. There's good protesters. There's bad protesters. But I believe all oh, hell's going to break in out in Chicago here. It's going to be worse than the 1968 Democratic Convention that what's happened. And it's kind of strange. Here's another sign from God. President Obama is the 44th President of the United States in 1968. 44 years ago was when they had the Chicago rights and a Democratic Convention. Now look, number 44 years ago for the rights and President Obama is the 44th President. That's another sign from God. So keep your eyes on Chicago today. Your global eyes on Chicago. You're going to see the New World Order, what's happening in Chicago today. You're going to see it on TV and radio and newspapers and Internet and YouTube and GodTube and all around the world. You're going to see the right that's heard around the world. You're going to see uh, the New World Order. You're going to see the battle, the 21st century, New World Order, martial law, apocalypse wars. That's going to be a lot of these. In Chicago, Illinois, I pray for Chicago, Illinois, in the Windy City, the concrete jungle. And anyway, <clears throat> say this prayer with me today. I, I, I want to see Jesus save your soul. This is your time. This is your hour. There's no much time left. Jesus returning soon. Say this prayer with you. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. Say these words with me. For the glory be to God. Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, Messiah of the world, I am a sinner. Oh, Jesus. King of King and Lord of Lords, forgive me for my sin. Oh Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Oh Lord Jesus, save my soul. Amen. Lord, my name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm born again. Thank you, Jesus. I have eternal life with you. Glory be to God. You said that prayer today. Give Jesus the best hand clap. 
Jesus Christ you saved your soul, your, your uh, new name, Red Land Book of Life, email George and Betty Kelly uh, channel on YouTube. Email us. We got an email on our comment page. We got an address. Mail us a letter. Tell us you said that Jesus Christ is a personal Savior. You made this old preacher man happy. I'm going to be 59 years old here in about two months. And I'm having more fun preaching the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel, and, and, and write me. Email me. Me and Betty, we love you today. Pray for Lisa least the mysteries in Pinkneyville, Illinois. We'll be praying and fasting for you. And Lord Jesus, let the hand of the Lord come down on your people. Let the hand of God rest your mantle with the new people that accept you as a personal Savior, Lord. Touch them from the crown of head to the soles of feet. Let thy mantle fall, double portion on them in Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Lord, that we're fishers of men, that we fish for souls, Jesus, that you save souls, a wise man wins the souls. We're fishers of men. Thank you, Lord, that hundreds of people, Jesus, you saved their souls today, and thousands and maybe millions in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. Just raise your hands to heaven right now. Surrender all. Say, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Everything I breath. Praise your holy name. Glory be to God. Battle the Lord. Victory in Jesus. Victory. Victory. Victory.